As we go around the Pac-12, there are quite a few rising quarterbacks we've seen on the show before. Some are more likely to play than others, of course. Yeah. At Stanford, Ryan Burns and Keller Chris will likely spend the season backing up starter Kevin Hogan. But either one could step in and contribute if needed. At USC, Max Brown is also likely to be a backup, but the redshirt freshman could challenge starter Cody Kessler for some snaps. Brown was the Gatorade National Player of the Year in 2012. Uh, I always dreamed of being the, the Skyline quarterback since I was a little kid, and so to go out my senior year, we want to go out the right way, and I mean, we did that, uh, going 14-0, winning a state title, uh, and then fortunately enough, I was able to, to get the Gatorade Player of the Year award, but that's, that's the type of, of, of award that you don't get without playing in without playing a lot of games and getting a lot of a lot of reps and stuff like that so uh, I've had I've had great teammates there and I mean I wouldn't have changed that experience for the world. At Cal, Jared Goff started as a freshman last season and he looks to be one of the league's rising stars. This isn't much of a surprise to those who saw him play at nearby Marin Catholic High School. Jared Goff is probably one of if not the finest and most accoladed high school athletes in the history of Marin County. Marin County is not known to have produced as many uh, prep stars as, say, Orange County or a place like Florida, but there have been some good athletes who have come out of here. Pete Carroll played here. Uh, most notably, I would say he's the best all-around athlete to come out of the county since his own father, Jerry Goff, who was a football and baseball star out of San Rafael High. While Colorado probably isn't one of the Pac-12's top teams, Sophomore starter Sefo Lufau is quietly emerging as a top player for the Buffs. Sefo took over as the starter last year as a freshman, and his high school coach always saw something special in his star quarterback. You know, well, obviously strong arm, but um, maneuverability that, um, I mean, you'll see it on, on the basketball court too. Um, you know, he has good feet. Um, for his size, he's pretty doggone quick. Um, his intelligence in terms of um, what's happening out there defensively. To be honest, um, I find myself stopping and realizing uh, you don't see many like this. While we see a lot of familiar faces at quarterback in the Pac-12, two other impact players we know pretty well both play running back at Oregon, Byron Marshall and Thomas Tyner. With DeAnthony Thomas gone to the NFL, Marshall and Tyner should both see a lot of time in the Ducks' fast-paced offense. Tyner's high school coach said that his speed and versatility make him a perfect fit for Oregon. You look at DeAnthony Thomas, you look at uh, Barner, you look at LaMichael uh, James last year. I mean, he's, again, that kind of tailback. He's got uh, great acceleration and burst. He can run away from people, again, when he's out in the open. He, he changes direction while he's got good feet. So, I mean, the kind of style that they play, he's a real good fit and he catches the ball extremely well. In his senior season, Tyner made national headlines when he rushed for 643 yards and 10 touchdowns in a single game. Well, I was just excited because it was my birthday. I mean, I never played a birthday, I mean, a football game on my birthday. I mean, that was just exciting for me and uh, the whole team, uh, we lost to him last year and, you know, the whole team played with, with, with the chip on our shoulder and we were excited to play in the game. These two star running backs can take a lot of pressure off of Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota, one of the preseason favorites for the Heisman Trophy.